we are given that A, B and C are in harmonic progression. Therefore, 1 upon A, 1 upon B and 1 upon C are in arithmetic progression. It therefore follows that 2 upon B is equal to 1 upon A plus 1 upon C. The right hand side is equal to A plus C upon AC and therefore B is equal to 2AC upon A plus C. Now consider the right hand side of the equation in the problem statement which is 2 times in brackets c square times b minus a whole square plus a square times c minus b whole square. Substituting the value of b obtained above this is equal to 2 times in brackets c square times in brackets 2ac upon a plus c minus a whole square plus a square times in brackets c minus 2ac upon a plus c whole square. Taking a common from the first term, therefore we have a square outside the brackets. Similarly taking c common from the second term and so we have c square outside the bracket. Therefore this expression becomes equal to 2a square c square times in brackets 2c upon a plus c minus 1 whole square plus 1 minus 2a upon a plus c whole square. This is equal to 2a square c square times in brackets 2c minus a plus c upon a plus c whole square. plus a plus c minus 2a divided by a plus c whole square. This is equal to 2a square c square divided by a plus c whole square times in brackets c minus a whole square plus c minus a whole square again. And this is equal to 4a square c square times c minus a whole square divided by a plus c whole square. Now this can be rearranged as 2ac divided by a plus c whole square times c minus a whole square. Now note that 2ac upon a plus c is equal to b as determined earlier. And therefore the value of this expression is equal to b square times c minus a whole square which is equal to the left hand side in the problem statement. This completes the proof.